Okay, so we're going to do another stoichiometry problem here. Uh, this one's going to be in, uh, involving the production of ammonia. And what that takes is that takes hydrogen gas and, um, uh, and nitrogen gas plus nitrogen N2. It's a gas. And that's going to give us ammonia, which is NH3. NH3, and that's a gas. So first of all, we should start by balancing this equation. Um, we have... That was a three over there. We have three hydrogens here and two here. So if we multiply this, we'll change color, we have two here and a three here. We have six hydrogens, six hydrogens, two nitrogens, two nitrogens. Perfect. So equation is balanced. Um, now what we can do is we can go on and solve our problem. So say our problem is we have, mm, let's say, 850, 850 grams of ammonia. NH3. We want to find out how many grams of hydrogen gas are required, you know, to react with some amount of nitrogen gas to get this value of 850. Um, so again, we'll write it like this. We'll just, for a kind of reference, we'll put our answer over here. It's going to be equal to um, some amount of grams of H2, right? This is what we're trying to solve for. We're saying how many grams of H2 is required, how many grams of hydrogen is required to get 850 grams of ammonia uh, doing this process here. So first of all, um, I guess before we move on again, let's write down just, we're, we're gonna round the atomic weights here, but, uh, or the molar masses, sorry. Uh, so we'll say that hydrogen, uh, we'll just say that's one gram. This is the molar mass of hydrogen is one gram. Um, the molar mass of nitrogen is 14. And we can go from there. We're just eliminating the decimal places here just for simplicity. So anyways, to start off, the first thing we're going to multiply this is, um, well, we want grams of NH3 here on the bottom. So grams of NH3. And so we said here, well, 14 um, plus 3 times 1, that's 17 grams. Uh, that's one mole of ammonia, right? I hope you all caught that. One mole of NH3. So I guess just to clarify, we can write this. Well, our molar mass of hydrogen gas, which is diatomic, would be 2 grams. Uh, molar mass of nitrogen gas, which is diatomic, would be 28 grams. And that would give us the molar mass of ammonia. NH3 would be well, that's, there's one nitrogen and three hydrogens. That, that's where we get our 17 grams. Okay, perfect. So let's go back to the equation here. Um, now, so now we have it's moles. Uh, we have our units are in moles of ammonia. So the next thing we want to do is we want to switch from moles of ammonia to moles of hydrogen. So we can do that using our mole ratios. Um, we'll put moles of ammonia on the bottom, NH3, and we'll put moles of hydrogen gas on the top. So moles of uh, ammonia, we have two, and then we have three moles of hydrogen gas on the top. Okay, so the next thing, the last thing we wanna do is we wanna convert this into grams of hydrogen gas. So we'll put moles of hydrogen on the bottom, moles of hydrogen gas, and then above it, we will put the, the molar mass of the grams, sorry, the grams of hydrogen gas. All right, perfect. And we set up here the molar mass of the molar mass of the hydrogen gas is two grams. So that's two grams per one mole. All right, so now what we can do is we can go through it and just make sure all of our units are going to be right. So we have grams of NH3 with grams of NH3. We have moles of NH3 with moles of NH3, so that cancels. Then we have moles of H2 and moles of H2, so that cancels. And all we have to do now is we multiply 850 times, oh, we can cancel these twos here too. Look at that, two times two. So 850 times three divided by 17, just punch that in your calculator um, instead of doing that by hand. And then we see, just if we do that quick, we get 150 grams of hydrogen gas. Perfect. So. What do we do here? We knew our problem said that we started, we know that this process results with 150 grams of ammonia. So how much hydrogen, 
you know, in this balanced chemical equation would be required to, for that outcome? Well, here's the answer. It's 150 grams. And I guess we'll work here. Um, you know, why don't, what if the question was asking how much nitrogen gas did it use? Well, let's just do that. Um, we have time, so let's just do the same process here and let's solve for how much nitrogen gas we used um, as a reactant. So, again, we were, you know, we're ending with 850 grams of ammonia. So we have NH3. Okay, so now what we want to do is we still, the same thing, we want to convert grams of ammonia into moles of ammonia. So we use the molar mass, which was 17 grams of NH3 to one mole of NH3. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to convert from, excuse me, moles of ammonia, which we can write down here. We have uh, moles of ammonia, NH3. And instead of going to hydrogen gas, we're switching to nitrogen gas. So no moles of nitrogen. Um, and so if we look at our balanced chemical equation, again, we still have two moles of NH3, and then we just have one mole of the nitrogen gas. And then what we want to do is we want to switch from moles of nitrogen gas to grams of nitrogen gas. So we have, let's put the moles on the bottom, moles of nitrogen, and grams of nitrogen. Grams of nitrogen. And so we set up here, well, our molar mass of nitrogen gas was 28 grams. That's 28 grams per one mole. Okay, and so now again, um, we could have written this before or we're just writing it now. So our answer is going to be in grams of nitrogen. Sorry, that's N2. So let's look through here and make sure all our units um, result in grams of nitrogen gas. So we start with grams of NH3 cancel out with grams of NH3. Then we have moles of NH3, moles of NH3. You can cancel that. Then we have moles of nitrogen and moles of nitrogen. So we cancel that and that leaves us with grams of nitrogen gas. So that's perfect. So what we want to do is we have 850 times 28 and then divide that by well 17 times 2. And just instead of doing that in my head, just punch in the calculator and we're going to get that's equal to 700 grams of nitrogen gas. So there we go. So if we combine 150 grams of hydrogen gas with 700 grams of nitrogen gas, that will give us 850 grams of ammonia. And that's what we should get. If, if these two are combined in their proper stoichiometric uh, ratios here, 3 to 1, uh, as far as moles go, then if we're adding 150 grams of one to 700 grams of the other, we should get 850 grams of ammonia.